Mikel Landa, Steven Kralswijk. 32 kilometers wide. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's happened here? Bike change? Real problems. And he's changing his jersey. Tom Dumoulin. Oh, no. No, no, no. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Problems. And I wonder if this is one of the problems before. He needed a natural break. Obviously, our cameraman realized that. Panned away as quickly as possible. And at this stage in the race, Sean, he must be in dire need of that. Yes. Um, and surprising that uh, when he was talking to the car, that's the question. Was he having the problem there? A stomach problem, which went on for you know a long time here. And we're getting very close to the climb now. Surprising. I reckon that, yeah, he was trying to hold on, but... Uh, not possible and just had to uh, you know, take off his jersey and go oh dear unfortunate wasn't it poor Tom Dumoulin well that's what one that's going to be replayed and replayed I think now what happens here in the peloton this is Andre Amador obviously no one's going to attack Dumoulin while he's doing that no I don't think um... and we're not I mean we're not on the road to do anyway but surely that ah, he's back on his bike now whatever needed to be done has been done I think they will just keep on riding at the pace there, maybe even knock her back a bit in that group of uh, the big favourites. And uh, they'll all be made aware via the director sport team pretty quickly. And we can see here, Ruben Plaza is still pushing on here. You know, um, certainly not waiting up anything big time. And he's just, you know, finishing, finishing his effort here and uh, pulling over. That, that's all for him. Over for Ruben Plaza. Remember Tom Dumoulin the other day waited for the mechanic, the crash bottom meet of Naido Quintana. I realise that social media, by the way, is about to go crazy. As long as he's not ill here, as long as he's all right, that hopefully will remain a funny incident at the Giro d'Italia. Now, Moby start taking it up. Oh, dear. This could be interesting. Oh, it's Zacharin. Well, that is not the dumb thing. Even though Zacharin attacking was Tom Dumoulin, was attending the call of nature. We're not going to hear the last of this, Sean. No, certainly not. And uh, yeah, it looked like that they were starting to just look at each other and uh, wave about and uh, allow Tom Dumoulin to get back into that group where he was before he stopped. But Zacharin, like, in, um, he has other ideas here. He's definitely pushing on. But is there anybody going to uh, react out of the peloton? It looks like that uh, everybody's just holding off a little bit for the moment. Although we can see here Movistar wanting to push on and we can see. Tom Dumoulin, is that him in the background there? He's in the cars still. He's in the cars because we just saw him with his car a moment ago. Now, Zakarin, is he, he's not exactly being shouted down by everybody at the minute. Anybody looks towards him. I wonder if there will be a gesture there. Well, the caravan's just gone down the commentary box as if he gestured with that horn to say, hang on a minute, that's not the dumb thing. There is Gorke Zagirre, the pace is on here. It's been launched by Zakarin. Quintana just radioed in. Pelizotti just radioed in. There's a look around, and Tom Dumoulin. Oh dear, oh dear. He is a long way back, Sean Kelly. Yes, he is. Awful... I, I suggest, I mean, he must be ill. He has to be. He has to be suffering here from something. Well, again, you know, it's uh, it's a day when you have to take too much. When you have to take so much liquids in, sometimes you take too much, and that can upset your stomach. And of course, you know, if you have it a bit too cold as well, sometimes it can upset the stomach uh, uh, quickly, and you have to go uh, to the toilet, as they say. And uh, yeah, uh, he's a long ways off there. I thought he was on the tail end of the cars. We can see Ten Dam is waiting up from here. But uh, there's a big gap, and there's riders getting uh, dropped out the rear of this group uh, all the time, and that's going to be the problem because the commissar is going to, you know, not allow the cars close to this group, and uh, he's going to have to make it all on his own with his teammates. So first of all, Katusha Nino Zakarin, then Moby Star, and now Bahrain Merida are going to have some explaining to do, I think. Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's the one where. 
There were teams riding, of course. We did see Catuccio riding. So I think Zacharin is going to say when we were we were pushing on the peloton for 15, 20 plus kilometres uh, when uh, Tom Dumoulin had to stop. And uh, the same, uh, we could see Ruben Plaza. He continued on, but he did not continue on for long. He was pretty much finished for the day. But the other teams here, we can see Pelizzotti starting to push yep. on here. That is your uh, new power at the front of the group. Well, an opportunity to put the pink jersey under pressure. And how's he going to react? Whether that was just an awfully timed nature break, or indeed Tom Dumoulin is suffering from some sort of illness or problem, if it's the latter, then we may say come to fruition on the climb as well, because if the pace goes high, they really didn't put him under that much pressure on the Stelvio or the Mortirolo. If he's under pressure here, then of course we'll see the answer, won't we? Yes, well... This is going to be a difficult one. We can see here he's just, you know, working away after trying to get back in. Tom, uh, Tom de Milan has just made his own. And we can see Tem, Ten Dam has finished his effort. He has got nothing left. And uh, it's going to be a, a, a big effort for him. But he cannot try and throw it down too quickly. Because if you do that, well, then you're going to pay big time. You have to just slowly try and uh, get back to that group where he was originally with. Tom de Milan is on his own. Behind the ambulance here, slipping and sliding. It doesn't look up for the pink jersey. Two minutes and 58 to the race lead. He is losing over a minute on these guys. I remind you, at the start of the day, this man, Tom Dumoulin, eight grand tours into his career, led the Giro d'Italia by two minutes and 41 seconds from Nairo Quintana. At the moment, to Quintana, he's losing one minute and 20 seconds, half of his advantage. The Umbral Pass still has 11 kilometers to go to the top.